yeah, I, I think in 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 general case in general cases you need to put your ESP uh, the pump setting depth above mid perf. Okay. All right. So now let's enter into the inflow performance section. Liquid rate. I'm going to use this as target. So my target flow rate is three thousand barrel liquid per day and reservoir pressure based on static bottom hole pressure survey it's 800 psig flowing bottom hole pressure fb hp i don't know okay let's say i don't know because this is a new well i just work over my well so I don't know. I, I don't have flow right now. I need to forecast my, I need to estimate my flowing bottom hole pressure if it is, if it, 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 if it can flow. Okay. But currently I don't know. So I, I will not use this value. Okay. I will skip it for now. Yeah. I can also delete it. Okay. And water cut, I know it's a water source well, so water cut will be 100% or one infraction. Okay, and maximum flow rate, maximum flow rate, QMAX or absolute open flow. I know this one. Okay, I know this one because I already create analytical IPR using permeability, thickness, skin factor, right? I already know that. I already done that in 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 well flow model. So the the value is actually five thousand four hundred fifty seven. Okay, five thousand four hundred fifty seven. But in this in this sheet, this value is calculated using liquid flow rate, static bottom hole pressure, and flowing bottom hole pressure. So I'm going to use what if analysis okay what if analysis click on data or maybe i i just need to input a guess value first so if i have flowing bottom hole pressure of 200 it will give me maximum flow rate of this one okay but the correct value for my maximum flow rate based on well modeling which i did which I created in another software, it's 5,457, okay? Yeah, just just a bit mess, uh, a bit note right now, a short note. So I, in well modeling software, okay, I created an analytical IPR, a theoretical IPR. I use permeability thickness, I generate the IPR, the analytical IPR, and it gives me the productivity index value and the maximum flow rate value, okay? And the maximum flow rate value without knowing the flowing bottom hole pressure, it's 5,457, okay? So I will instead calculate the flowing bottom hole pressure so that I get this value. Click on OK. All right. All right, so I can have maximum flow rate of 5,457 if I flow my well at this flow rate, at this static bottom hole pressure, and at this flowing bottom hole pressure, okay? So the correct flowing bottom hole pressure, if this IPR is true, is 508, okay? 508 PSIG. Okay, I hope you get the, you know, the explanation there and productivity index in this particular sheet spreadsheet i already use uh, a quick look you know a quick look approach to calculate productivity index it's very simple we just need maximum flow rate and uh, static bottom hole pressure so it's 1.8 multiplied by qmax divided by you know divided by this static bottom hole pressure okay it's a quick look approach to estimate productivity okay but if you want to get a better calculation a more accurate calculation from 
uh, for productivity index, I, I, I recommend you to open the textbook, okay? Okay, so liquid rate target, again, 3,000 barrel liquid per day. Yeah, this sheet, okay, this spreadsheet is developed in the assumption that you already have well test, well test value. That's why initially it, it is written test. Okay, so you already have well tests and then you want to change or you want to optimize your your ESP, you can use this spreadsheet, okay? But in this case, I don't have well test data. I don't have well test data because it's a new well. I never flow my well, okay? So that's why I will, yeah. So that's why I, I need to use some adaptation, okay, to, to, to use this spreadsheet in the case of new well, okay? So, yeah, let's say in imagination we have already the well test data 3000 which is the same with target flow rate 3000 api gravity i will just use 38 here but actually it's a water well okay 